Welcome back. Today I'll explain you how I made the knob for TC and his coffee grinder. He sent me a message in the afternoon and that was it, that I got involved. I'm also learning how to use Fusion 360, so I said to myself that's going to be a good practice to do it in the software. And today I'm going to show you and we're going to learn together. When you design a part like that, the first thing is actually you have to kind of think how you're going to make it, how you're going to build it. So I decided I'm going to go for, for actually a revolution of a solid from the sketch. So, uh, yep, uh, I started like that. So we're going to do, we're going to start the sketch. Um, and you kind of have to see this part as, uh, I'd say, you know, like the, the, the cutout of, the actual part so uh, that you're gonna afterwards you're gonna turn so uh, it's gonna look more or less more or less like that uh, right now we don't bother ourselves with the dimensions because we're gonna uh, we're gonna actually modify them afterwards uh, we're gonna dimension it right now it's just to give it more or less the the form the shape we're looking looking for um, and yeah so if you look on the pictures it looked more or less like that there were the the ribs on the side but those we're gonna actually mold them afterwards uh, so uh, yeah that's how it's gonna look uh, if I show you right now the sketch that one will be finished what we're gonna do with that is actually we're gonna revolve it so as you can see, yep, that's the body, that's the axis. So the part will look more or less like that. But we go now first, give it some more precise dimensions. How do I go back to editing the sketch? Uh, create, offset plane, edit sketch, there you go. Uh, so dimensions, mm. the diameter of the knurled bolt that actually this knob goes on was uh, six millimeters so, uh, so sorry 12 so we need a radius of six meters from here to here uh, 15 that's not gonna make it it's gonna be six uh, then we decide well we need some thickness for the wall uh, three millimeters will be enough nine there you go something like that right now the outside edge, uh, yeah, this part is not that big after all, so uh, more or less we abled it by 25 millimeters in diameter in total. Oh, as you can see, it's doing right now some strange things because it didn't understand what happens. Can I remove that point? Pretty accent to move, copy, delete. I delete what's gonna happen if I press delete. There you go, entity select. I just wanted to remove that point. Uh, let's try that. And now, can I do something like merge points? Uh, okay, well, just do it like that. Okay, so <coughs> to merge the points, you just apparently pull one onto the other, and there you go, then you're done. Okay, now I need this move over here. That goes there. Uh, yeah, well, that was more or less the idea. Now we're gonna uh, continue with the shaping of that. So, yeah, uh, we have the width of the, of the, of the stuff. Now, uh, the depth of the opening was 11 millimeters and then from top to here we decided we're gonna make this at four millimeters so as you can see it's starting to get pretty interesting isn't it uh, oh my god why it's doing this huh sorry for the strange sounds you can hear in the background those are my cats actually fighting <laughs> Uh, no, I want this to be 11 millimeters, mister. Hmm. Wait a minute. Ah, there you go. Badly. That one. That one has to be 11. Okay. 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 That starts to look more or less 
as I wanted to, I wanted this to be three and that 12 15 and right now so uh, this part here <coughs> we made it 8.5 and why is not working ah! and then we decided that the distance from this point to this point was two actually no we're gonna they mention it differently because we want to have that distance. There you go. That's what I want. Four, eight and a half. Ah, I know. I know why I made a mistake. And that point to that plane was just fine. Okay, there you go. That starts to look more or less what we had. <clears throat> and the last thing was just moving this point here so uh, knob was rounded here so what we're gonna do we're gonna add we're actually gonna what we're gonna do what I wanted to do was actually to there you go fill it put the fillet on this corner there you go, we're gonna do one millimeter, great, and another on this one, and there you go. Beautiful, isn't it? So that's the, more or less the shape of the knob we had, and now I can finish the sketch and make revolution to create the knob. So that's, the basic shape of the knob but as we're gonna 3d print it actually I'm gonna we printed it in the direction as you can see right now looking on it from the front so over here there was the bed of the 3d printer and that was the first layer and then we started going up so 3d printers actually well you can add serpents for the overhangs which is this part here uh, but i decided actually to get to give more stretch last strength to this part to actually put a chamfer uh, in this corner over here at the same time reducing the need for the support well there still was the support for the while well, we were printing that but that way we get a nicer finish of the of, of the part so uh we gonna once again edit the sketch and right now same thing uh we gonna do was that option not fill it is it possible to make a chamfer uh where is the option to make a chamfer uh, do, 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 tool sketch mm, uh, do, 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 linear no 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 modify trim extend break sketch offset uh, do, do, do. someone knows where do we make chamfers in the fusion 360 um, <laughs> polygon arc all right, three points. Well, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it my way. I'm just gonna sketch a line like that. And now I'm gonna decide that the distance just to make sure uh, that was going to be the emissions over constraint the sketch. Choose okay, create driven dimension. Okay, I wanted it to make three actually can i no i can't modify it okay i guess i have to move it what are we gonna do i know trim we don't need this corner anymore there you go and right now i should be able to modify that so five we wanted to have three so from here to here it has to be two isn't it there you go and then we had well we have sorry it's not we had we have you know what i'm gonna pull this higher to get them closer 
to there you go much better so uh, we have 9 and 12 and a half so it means that this small part here was about 0.5 millimeter and no there you go that's better so now we got our beautiful nice chamfer three by three in this corner finish sketch and there we go that's it at this point i actually printed a first model of the part to make sure that all dimensions are as they should be and it goes on and then i added the knurling the ribs on the side to improve the grip as you can see from the pictures there are 12 of them and it's pretty simple to make them so uh, we're just gonna make another sketch on this small flat surface and now I'm just gonna make a small circle of one millimeter of diameter uh, actually what well, radius sorry radius of one millimeter so diameter is going to be two millimeters there you go <coughs> wonderful right now we're gonna do circular pattern and we select our object that small circle center point that's gonna be center of our part on the same time that's the coordinates and quantity we're going for 12 there you go beautiful isn't it now we're gonna finish this sketch we're gonna extrude our future parts profile that's what we want well that's the fast juice way because i'm actually selecting the things from the sketch i could have done one and then just you know do the circular repetition uh, start from profile plane direction one side distance and we went for I think that was 7.5 millimeters oh other direction Go back thank you once again <clears throat> extrude so profile plane one side distance okay once again off we go Dun. i already changed the direction there you go that's better uh not minus two well minus two because i created the plane looking that direction so uh we'll just have to modify for that we're still in the profile selection so we have to choose all 12 of our knobs up up there you go distance 7.5 and there we are mm, we still need to put some small balls on the end on the same time i can see that that's well we're gonna slightly <coughs> extend that part uh ah yeah i know where the problem is we're gonna remove this dimension because the dimension was actually from the bottom to there that was 8.5 millimeters there you go much better uh what he did oh he made a pretty interesting thing uh that's good for me but we're gonna remove this part and then we're just gonna stop it the, i guess there and now uh, just extend it there you go finish sketch <coughs> Now, let's look at it from the top. Okay, so as I said, yeah, time to round it out. So, 
we're going to create another sketch on this surface. There you go. Now we have this profile here. We're going to do right click. There was the right click. Um, project. There you go. Because we want to project this profile existing body. Actually, we want to uh, project this actually curve part of the circle. That's what we want. There you go. So we get this thing that's like that. And now we're just going to draw a line that's going to be our revolution axis. There you go, up to here. That's great. Let's finish this sketch. And right now what we're going to do is make revolve once again. This sketch I want to revolve this thing, this profile, that's going to be my axis of revolution. No, we don't want to cut it. We going, we want to join it. There you go. Okay. And isn't that beautiful? There you go. That's our small rounded end of the red. But it's only one. So what we're going to do right now is use tool of circular pattern and we pit and reinstall this on the rest of the ribs. You can find here, circular pattern, there you go. Faces, actually object, yes, we're gonna click on this object, wonderful. Axis, what's the axis? The axis is gonna be actually that one there. How do I select it? Give it to me, please. Uh, I think he found it. Yeah, he understood he's gonna do it using the entire the entire body and his center. That's great. 12. There you go. We get a preview. Ta -da! So now we have all 12 ribs with small rounded ends. So that's our finished part. Now the only thing we have to do is save it in an STL format export. There you go. Save as STL. I knew that was somewhere here. And that would be it. The rest of the story, you know it he made a wonderful coffee grinder out of it. See you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.